Greetings, Retro Zoltan here. I finally got a chance to buy one of these suckers. This is the Pow Kitty V90. If you've loved the Game Boy Advance SP or were looking to replace it with something new that can hold multiple games, this is definitely something you'd be interested in. Pow Kitty releases a ton of handheld gaming units every year, but this is the first time I believe they've released a clamshell unit. Other than the form factor, nothing else really compares to the SP as far as how it works. It cannot take cartridges. It's just another handheld gaming system that can take an SD card full of games. Colors available for the V90 are only in yellow and orange. I ended up picking yellow, but honestly, neither looked all that great to me. It really makes me wonder why they choose these colors. Like, was there a sale on yellow and orange plastic at the time? It was a sale, so I bought 400 cans. The plastic feels okay, I guess, but it certainly feels lighter and, well, cheaper. The D-pad feels okay, I don't really have complaints here, and the A, B, X, Y buttons have a decent spring to them. Start and select is fine, and what I believe is the reset or menu button is recessed enough so you're not pressing it accidentally. Trigger and shoulder buttons on the top are small, but effective. I'm not a huge fan of them being beside each other, but there are really not many options to have it any different here. To my delight, there's a volume knob on the left side, and to the right hand side has the on off switch and the SD slot already sporting a 16 gig full of ROMs out of the box. I'm happy for the stereo speakers, but the placement unfortunately is right under your thumbs. To remedy this, I say use the headphones that are conveniently located on the bottom next to the charging port. Opening and closing the V90 feels less smooth than doing it with the Game Boy Advanced SP, but it still works all the same. It's at least tight enough to hold the screen at whatever angle you'd like. If you're a fan or not, it has a resounding click each time you open it up. The three inch screen lights up pretty good. I see no issues with it at all. The 1020 milliamp battery, however, depending on what you're playing, will most likely have you recharging every three hours or so. Going directly to the source, the V90 costs around $40 USD. For what you're getting, including ROMs, this is pretty good. Hardware for the V90 is exactly the same as the BitBoy and PocketGo version one, which to be honest, is now outdated. You're not getting anything more powerful here. Even the operating system, one that I've seen on multiple occasions, NX Hope, is outdated as well. The source code is closed, so if anyone wants to make improvements, has to load an entirely different operating system. This much needed improvement I'll get into shortly. The V90 with NX Hope software runs a variety of preloaded games, as well as the expected system. The games work well enough, with a few exceptions. Screen tearing is a thing, and if this sort of thing irritates you, you're not going to be happy right away. Some Super Nintendo games drop down to 7 frames a second, which is pretty rough. And PlayStation 1 games, something this device boasts about, can get even worse. Some tweaking makes more games tolerable, but overall, it's not the most satisfying experience. So let's take a look at the game. If you're looking to get the most out of your V90, there is some MiU custom firmware that was meant for the Pocket Go 1 that cleans up the screen tearing for the most part, and in my opinion, just makes it a lot easier to use. Not to mention adding even more systems to emulate, like Amiga, ColecoVision, Atari, Atari Lynx, and a J2ME emulator, and of course Vetrix. I'll provide a link on how to get into this description below. So overall, the V90 is not a bad system. It's $40 and comes with enough to make it worth your time. And with little effort, you can make it a better system that you might just pick up more than your Nintendo SP. Maybe. And that's all I have to say about the Pow Kitty Clamshell V90. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and, th and see you next time. <laughs> what? And see you next time. Bye.